Right, tell me your name first of all. Uh, Jordan. Jordan, pleased to meet you, I'm Clef. Can I ask you like two or three questions? Oh yeah, go for it. And then you'll see where I'm going with it. So, animals, what do you think? What's your thoughts on them? You like them, love them? I, 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 I love animals, to be honest. As a kid, I always love like, going to the zoo and stuff to see them. You know? uh -huh. I, I think, honestly, they're lovely creatures. Yeah, me too. I used to like the zoo too. I don't anymore. Um, so, let me give you a hypothetical situation. It's over here right now, somebody's kicking a dog. Yeah. Or being abusive. What would you think and what would you do? To be honest, I think that's not right. Probably go over and tell them, you know, like, stop. That's like a dog. That's like a pet. It's meant to be like a household pet. Like, yeah. why are you abusing it? Like, you're meant to cherish it and love it. Okay. And, like, what would you call abuse? Like, causing unnecessary harm to somebody? I say abuse would be long terms, like maybe neglection. Maybe not feeding it. Maybe not giving it the care it needs, like washing it, maybe mistreating it, not like giving it the proper care it actually needs to survive. So causing them to suffer and causing them harm. You wouldn't mind just stabbing? Cool, good yeah, man. Yeah, right, so here's the colour question. What about animals that we take into the slaughterhouse? We hang them upside down and we cut their throat for an unnecessary reason. What do you think of that? To be honest, I don't, see the whole thing with slaughterhouse is like unnecessary reasons. There is obviously a reason behind it to yes. kill them for... for, for but it's for an unnecessary reason. Would you agree? See, I mean, what I'm, not I mean? I'm not trying. I'm not Let me just be clear. I'm not trying to cut you out or judge people or anything like that. Because I used to pay for it my entire life up until ten years ago. So I, I am not being a dick here. I'm trying yeah. to make no, you look super or anything like that. From, but like, in terms of it, there is a reason why they do it. But the reason behind it is maybe a bit like inhumane. I think the reason is a want. People want to eat meat and they want to eat dairy products and they want to eat eggs. But when you can eat something else instead, then there's no necessity to it. So if there's no necessity to it, then what would be the justification other than taste? To be honest, proteins. Like, the, some meat does contain high value proteins that we do need in our body to survive. Yeah, we absolutely need protein, but if you think about it, <clears throat> all pr that, the industry wants you to believe that you have to eat meat products and chicken and eggs for protein. I haven't eaten an animal product since I was 19. I am 56 in two weeks' time. I competed in high level sport for a long time on a plant based diet. All protein originally comes from the, from plants. Where do cows get their protein from? They're 700 kilogram animals. What do they eat? Just pure oils and plants. Yeah, they just eat grass, basically. Yeah. Uh, if you look at a silverback gorilla, who are like 240 kilograms, full of muscle, what do they eat? Mostly plants. Yeah. So you can get all the protein you need from plants. All that incomplete amino acids and all that nonsense is man it's honestly a lot of crap there's nfl players eating vegan diets now there's footballers eating vegan diets uh, cyclists runners people from all types of sport one of the world's strongest men patrick bavumian is a vegan um lewis hamilton's vegan i'm trying to think off the top of my head uh, barney de places was mr universe a few years back was vegan so you can get all the protein you need and mr universe can be vegan and get enough protein. You can be vegan and get enough protein. Would I, you agree with that? I, I agree with that on the I respect everyone's thing. If you want to be vegan, go for it. But the whole thing with like meat, I just think it's based off proteins and like energy, you know? Like a lot of people do consume it. But I genuinely think with animal abuse, there is a lot of inhumane ways to kill an animal. Yeah. But I think potentially there is possibilities to maybe kill an animal in a humane way. How would you humanely kill somebody that doesn't want to die? I know. It's like, it's hard. Because I'm asking you that because that's the perception that people have. But every time I ask people, how do you humanely kill somebody? I know there's no way Everybody goes, there is, you know, when you think about it. There really isn't, to be honest. But in terms of, like, humane, there's more, like, ways and stuff maybe, like, killing it without, like, the abuse. Yeah. Maybe there's a way to, like, let it go off softly. But there isn't a humane way to actually kill anything. Right. Okay. So let me tell you two things. Or let me ask you a question and then tell you something. So say... You were sleeping in your bed, right? And I snuck in your house with a Glock. Um, you hadn't even woke up and I put the gun to your head and I blew your brains out and you feel no pain whatsoever. Would you consider that to be humane? Well, in a sense, humane, yeah, because you're not, you don't actually feel it. Like, you're just gone like that. But I, I, mean, I would agree you don't feel it because be, you, you're Absolutely. going on a second, but I don't see it as humane taking somebody's life away yeah, from them. Oh, the only thing an animal possesses on this world is their life. And for us to take it away from them for an unnecessary reason, I see that as completely inhumane. Um, on the humane thing, the most humane method for slaughtering animals in this country, the industry will tell you, is what we do to pigs. Do you know how we kill pigs in this country? No, sir, no, I do not. Most people don't. Would you believe we throw them in the gas chambers? 
Nope. I don't believe that. What do you think of that? You don't believe that? I, I, to be honest, gas chambers, do you yeah. say? <laughs> to be honest, yeah, that actually is like a messed up thing to do to like a creature, because I mean, at the end of the day, it just it has the same thing. That's a soul, like it has yeah. life. I agree with you. So there's two main pig slaughterhouses. There's one a mile from my house called Cranswick Country Foods in Ballymena, where they gas three and a half thousand every day. I've been there, I've done vigils at it with the animals. Pigs are just like dogs. They're f in fact, they're more intelligent. So they're freaking terrified from the minute I arrive because they hear the ones screaming inside and animals communicate. So they know if animals are screaming like that, that something bad's coming. They're terrified from the minute they arrive. We force them into gas chambers. Man, you should hear the screaming of those animals. I swear to God, I cried. I'm not emotional, but I cried for 20 minutes, man, the last day I was there. I had to go behind a wall away from everybody and cry, man. It was so bad listening to you. And if you could see that or hear that, I swear, man, you would not be cool with it. Um, so they tell us that's the most humane method. They go into a cage on a gondola. It's a great big circular wheel with like cages on it. And they force three or four into a cage at a time. They shut the door of the cage and they drop them down into CO2 carbon dioxide, so it's not even gas, it's like suffocation. It takes about a minute and a half. Fucking horrendous, man. Horrendous. I'd say the most humane way to potentially kill an animal is maybe find a way, like, to maybe put it to sleep, like, relax it, put it to sleep, and then take its life. But it's still not a humane way, but it'd be stop better to, su to stop the suffering. Maybe the screams of the animal, to stop the suffering of the animal. Yeah, the thing about it is, if you're doing, you're talking about euthanasia. I'm cool with euthanasia, but an animal is suffering if they have a badly injured or broken legs or they've got cancer and they're suffering. Euthanasia for me is completely fine. That's, that's the, that is the humane thing to do to put somebody out of their suffering. These animals are six months old. Pigs go to a slaughterhouse at six months old and get thrown in a gas chamber. 21,000 a week or something like in Northern Ireland. The worst food. I, I think I was reading online like uh, slaughterhouses that they were chickens. It was like bacteria getting spread through like the slaughterhouses kind of how like disgusting some slaughterhouses so, are slaughterhouses are one of the main spreaders of covid um i used to do vigils at cranswick and i they still won't let us come and do it because of covid protocol because slaughterhouses were anywhere there's animals in large numbers covid just rife so there's slaughterhouse workers are were one of the highest and percentage wise of people getting covid um, e. coli, all these different diseases, there's um, avian flu going around at the minute, so all the free range hens are all locked inside in barns, not that there's many of them out anyway, but there's, those flocks are 16,000 hens, 4,000 in a free range barn, 9 birds per square metre in a free range barn, 9 birds per square metre, literally no room whatsoever. And they're over packed? Packed, with a little door at one end, like a cat flap for half a dozen birds know it's there and they get out during the day. The rest in their short lives will never know it's there. Um, they live cramped in, they're fighting with each other because they're in conditions that they shouldn't be in. The Cornish cross that we eat live from baby chick to fully grown and into the slaughterhouse at 48 days old. 48 days, six or seven weeks. And the ones that lay eggs live in those shite conditions, some in cages and some in those free range, like one big cage conditions for 18 months. Guess where they go? Off the slaughterhouse. Turned into pet food or turned into food. They actually turn hens into food for themselves. So they feed them back to themselves. So the whole thing stinks, man. The whole oil industry suck. And that's what I'm trying to get through to people. If you would never hurt an animal yourself. Guaranteed, you'd never hurt an animal yourself. In fact, if you did hurt an animal, or if you hit one with your car or whatever, you'd be really annoyed about it. Depends what animal would come in. Well, what, what, what would be? Well, I wouldn't try and like, hurt them. But Say, like, right. if there was any animal that was trying to attack you, yeah. trying to like, get yeah. away. But yeah, that, that's different, but, and I would too. Like, as a vegan animal rights person, if an animal attacked me, I'd defend myself. But I would never go out of my way to hurt an animal. That, and most of the animals that we eat are completely defenseless. Cows are the most gentle animals. Sheep are scared of us. Pig or pigs are like dogs. Chickens, what are they going to do to you? So they're all... I say it's all to do with like evolution and the food chain, because like, humans are at the top of the food chain. But see, with like evolution and all, I just say like we, I say we evolved to be able to eat meat. Because if you think about it, humans are, are omnivores. Like, look at our teeth for example. We have canines used well, for ripping in the meat. We could go into the biology of it. Biologically, if you look into it, we're actually herbivores who have adapted to eat meat, so we can process it. But it makes us we're getting saturated fat and cholesterol. You're also ingesting antibiotics and all sorts of shit. So eating animal products is, is bad for you, in my opinion. To be honest, in my opinion, canines 
We have canines that eat fruit and crunchy things. If you see a, um, I'm trying to think, is it a hippopotamus? Or as uh, a hippopotamus, yeah. they have the biggest canines in the world. They're herbivores. So canines is no marker for, you know, if, you're think, if you think you're top of the food chain, jump onto a field of cows and see how you get on <laughs> trying to kill one uh, and eat it. You know, yeah. we're artificially at the top of the food chain because we're intelligent and we've, we've weaponized ourselves against I, animals. I see the food. But the, there's, the, the main predators in this world are sharks and tigers and lions and animals like that. We wouldn't stand a chance against any of those animals. We're not really the top of the food chain, like I say, it's because we're, we're intelligent and we have opposable thumbs and we pass on intelligence to the next generations. We're artificially there. There's an old film, have you ever seen Rocky, the original film? Yeah. You know the bit where they put him in a, his trainer, he's trying to get him fit and he puts him in there, like a fenced off area with a, with a chicken and tells him to catch it. Well, he can't even catch a chicken. <laughs> so we are not prime predators and we are not top of the food chain, in my opinion. You know, for me, for me, and it, there's this masculinity thing, I'm not saying you guys are like that, or trying to have white meat and all that stuff. I think it's more masculine to protect animals and to not hurt animals when you don't need to. And for me, that's that's being that's being vegan, in my opinion. To be honest, with my <coughs> opinion with like meat and stuff, like <coughs> I think the reason why we are at the top of fiction would just would be to artificial intelligence, like weapons, guns, like a gun can yeah. like. There's shark, there's actually a, what does it call it, like an elephant shotgun, like I put down an elephant in one yeah. shot. Yeah. That's what I, that's the reason, main reason why, with like hunters and all, hunters are kind of like animals at the same time. If you think about it, hunters there's, are like they're doing what animals are doing. Hunting animals to feed themselves, that's what I look at as well. But to be honest, I don't think we actually do need meat, because I have researched it or not. Like there is like ways around meat, like there's ways to get our proteins from meat that we do need from meat. There's a way to extract that and put yeah. it in the plant. People say the, there's nine essential amino acids and you don't get them all from plants, but most plants do contain all nine essential amino acids in different levels. So all you have to do is eat two or three different plants and you will get all your essential amino acids. See elephants mostly get just killed for their horns. <coughs> so they yeah. do. People kill them for ivory because it's extremely expensive. I mean, fuck's sake, elephants are, to me, elephants are majestic, really cool, super intelligent animals, and people are killing them so they can wrap their tusks out. It's poachers. Oh, I hear poachers. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't stand by with all See, I would, I do eat meat, and I probably will continue to eat meat, but the whole thing with poaching, like, they're just killing an animal just for its properties, like what it has, the value yeah. of the properties. Like I say, a rhino for its horns. And yeah. they're just leaving it for death. I agree with you, it's, it's shocking. But I, from my point of view, I don't see it as any different as what we're doing for a pig or a cow. And you might value an elephant more than a pig or a cow or a chicken, but that's to me is the wrong perspective because I look at it from their perspective and it was happening to me, I'd want somebody to try and stop it. They value their life as much as an elephant does. They value their life as much as you value their life. They just want to be free and do what they want to do. They don't want people whipping them and taking them into and throwing them into gas chambers and cutting their throat and taking their babies away from them and artificially inseminating them. All those things that we do to animals in these industries. We can just leave animals alone and grow plants instead and eat plant-based burgers and like this vegan ice cream and lasagna and everything. Now. I just it's think like it's all I just think the whole thing with veganism is like I think. Mm, the main reason why people are not vegan is due to certain vegans because look at the vegan teacher for example yeah she pushes her beliefs on the other people telling people to go vegan but i think for the best way for vegans to make people see is like advertisement like show them like but like some people are going out there just screaming in people's face like oh you have to go vegan or not yeah. which is why some people whenever like people talk about vegans people usually tend to laugh mm. because like with it in our society like, my, like, my generation i'm only 16 like to us we genuinely think vegans are just a laughing stock because of what we've seen from online influence. What do you think of what I'm, being honest, what do you think of what I'm doing right here, right now? I, I respect your beliefs, I feel like you actually are putting a good message out there. I, I respect like I respect your beliefs, you respect mine, you don't eat meat, I do. Mm -hmm. Like we're just coming together and obviously expressing our opinions. Yeah. But see, you're not, you see, you're one of like the vegans out there that people could respect. But see, people don't hear your voice because they just think you're like the rest of them. Yeah, I mean, I know some people, I've never actually seen the vegan teacher. I've heard people talking about her, obviously. Um, I, I tend to knock all our activists because I think people are just using their voice in any way they can. What, I could not tell you a word that she says because I've never watched her. All I know is that I'm here. I think most people do love animals. We're taught to love certain animals. Pigs, or well. There's an arbitrary line you're taught when you're young, so it's dogs and cats and horses. 
dolphins. Some of these ships are lying, you get upset. These other animals, the ones that we typically consume and wear, you're taught not to think about them at all. And I think that's sad because they deserve our kindness and empathy and respect as much as those other animals. That's how I see it. Oh, but I see the whole thing with animals. Like, people talk about <coughs> if everyone was vegan, like, there would be an overwhelming amount of <coughs> animals. Yeah. But I think from, from it, like, with it, like, the reason why is force breeding. That's what animals are. They're That's forced. exactly yeah. You nailed it on the head. People say to me, the reason there are so many cows and chickens is because farmers are breeding them into existence. <coughs> and say the whole world went vegan overnight, which would never happen. There would be a lot of animals. I'd be like, what the fuck are we going to do with all these animals now? But if the world goes gradually vegan, which I genuinely believe will happen, well then people will start buy other foods, the farmers will grow other foods and less and less animals will be bred into existence until the point where they're, they won't be breeding any animals into existence at all. No, no, that's the, that's the thing behind it, people are just, yeah that's the thing, people don't get that, they're like, yeah. oh there'll be too many animals, it's because of humans, they forcefully breed the animals to reproduce, yeah. to keep up with demands, mm -hmm. with costs and profit and all. Exactly, and that's why I don't judge farmers any more than I, when I say judge the consumers as much to blame as the farmer. Farmers just producing what people buy. It's all a chain. Yeah. It goes from... Supply and demand. It goes from the consumer to the producer and then from back on to the animal. Mm -hmm. Look. Listen man, can I give you a card before you go? Yeah, of course. How's it going? I've only three left, I think. There you go. So... On the... One on one, I asked you to watch if you get 40 minutes sometimes. See the bottom one here, the mm -hmm. best picture I'll ever hear, Gary Yorovsky. Free to watch on YouTube. 40 minutes long. Watch it sometime and listen to what the guy says. I, I, believe me, a speech sounds boring, especially when you're a 16 year old lad, <laughs> yeah. man. But give it a watch sometime. Five minutes and I guarantee you'll think, shit, this is pretty powerful stuff. See how you go. Uh -huh. What's your name again? Uh, Jordan. I, I'm Cliff again. My YouTube channel's on there. You'll probably see this on there at some point. Thanks for stopping, my man. Have a good day.